Imagine, if you will, stepping back in time to the dawn of the 18th century. The world is a different place, dominated by monarchies and colonial powers. Europe's influence is spreading across the globe, and the new world is not exempt from this wave of expansion. Now let's shift our focus to the American colonies, where a palpable tension is growing. The colonists, chafing under the yoke of foreign rule, are beginning to stir, their yearning for freedom slowly but surely taking shape. Amidst this atmosphere of unrest and rebellion, the need for a unified voice, a beacon of truth, is becoming more and more apparent. Communication in these tense times is of paramount importance. The colonists are scattered, their voices disparate and disconnected. What they need is a platform, a medium that can bring their shared grievances and aspirations into sharp focus. And so in this charged atmosphere, the seeds were being sown for the first American newspaper. In the heart of this turmoil, in 1704, emerged the Boston Newsletter. This was not just another publication, but America's first newspaper brought to life by John Campbell, a postmaster in Boston. Campbell, with his strategic position, had access to the news arriving from overseas and saw an opportunity to share this with the local community. Thus, the Boston newsletter was born, initially filled with foreign news and sprinkled with advertisements. However, this pioneering venture was not without its challenges. The Boston newsletter faced an uphill battle from the start. Censorship was a major issue as each publication had to be approved by the governor. The audience was limited and the financial strain was considerable with the paper relying heavily on advertisements for revenue. But like a ship braving the storm, the Boston newsletter persevered. Despite these challenges, the Boston newsletter persevered, paving the path for a new era of communication in America. The Boston newsletter, though seemingly unassuming, left an indelible mark on American history. This was not just a simple newspaper, but a tool that helped shape public opinion. It fostered a sense of community among the disparate colonies, bringing them together with shared news and views. This sense of unity would later prove crucial in the colony's fight for independence. But the Boston Newsletter's legacy doesn't stop there. It set a precedent for all future American newspapers and journalism, establishing standards of reporting and ethics that still resonate today. It was a beacon of democracy, spreading information far and wide in a time when knowledge was power. This democratization of information played a significant role in the eventual independence of the American colonies, giving people the knowledge and confidence to demand freedom. So the next time you pick up a newspaper or read an article online, remember the Boston Newsletter, the humble beginnings of a revolution in communication.